time since taking office last year, President Pakune will make her diplomatic debut at the UN General Assembly. In her address, the South Korean leader will likely focus on efforts to prepare the two Koreas for unification. Our Chae Yoo Sun takes us through the president's schedule for day two at the UN. President Bakunet's UN General Assembly address is widely expected to lay out the details of her vision for unification of the Korean Peninsula and seeking international support for the plan. Back in March, the South Korean leader proposed the two Koreas increase Seoul's humanitarian support to Pyongyang and people-to-people -people exchanges as an initial step towards preparing for reunification. She has even launched a committee in the South to get ready for the unprecedented process. President Bak will also likely talk about rebuilding inter-Korean trust to resolve the North Korean nuclear weapons issue and to bring peace and prosperity to Northeast Asia and Eurasia. It's also possible she might touch on the North's human rights abuses. Aside from the peninsula's security and foreign policy issues, the president will highlight Korea's contributions to other global issues as a major middle power. At the U.S.-led Security Council meeting on foreign terrorist fighters, a mounting issue of concern in the Middle East, President Buck is expected to stress the need for international cooperation to counter the phenomenon of foreigners joining Islamist extremist groups. She will also announce ways that Korea is willing to help in the global fight, which will likely be in the form of humanitarian assistance. At a high-level meeting on global education presided over by the U.N. Secretary General, President Bak will speak about Korea's education system and vow to work to advance education worldwide ahead of next year's World Education Forum in Korea. Choi Yoo-sun, Arirang News, New York.